excitement and tits for the top. James, however, had other ideas, always intelligently ambivalent about pop fame and the music industry in general. They signed to an American label and time stood still for a couple of years. Back now with two recent singles and an LP on Rough Trade and a new album due soon on a new label, Snub Art's frontman Tim Booth if James had resolved their misgivings about impending adulation. Well, it's such a joke, isn't it? I mean, the whole thing is a bit of a joke. It's a surrealist nightmare a lot of the time. You know, people just going hysterical and... <laughs> um, I, I take some of it seriously, I take some of it not seriously. I have an ego, I'm flattered by a lot of it. I'm turned on by a lot of it. Um, but it also, a part of my brain goes, this is ridiculous, and they don't know you. Um, I'm trying to go with it more because I don't believe, I think we blocked it last time when our wave came. We um, held back and as a result the wave went by and we watched it and that wasn't very clever really um, because we ended up wondering what would have happened if and we don't want to wonder that anymore. I think we should have changed our name this year and, and made it a complete new start because it feels very different now. I mean, seven people and lots of new songs. And Government Walls is more about the way they're tightening up the Secret Services Act, about the Peter Wright case, about John Stalker, um, the way in this country they're just trying to, you know, like if anybody leaks anything um, that the government has done, they say, oh, it's, that's a Secret Service, and they can put you in prison for it, and they can stop the papers from telling you what the information actually is. But the information that they're suppressing really tells you who runs this country and how this country is run. So bring down the government walls is just about trying to uh, prevent the secrecy that's going on. That you know you have to suspect all the stuff about. I can't. I, you can't. I can't even say it, can I? an audience's intelligence and ability to concentrate. Like they say in America, isn't it that I think each record bought has an average play of one and a half plays because the concentration span is so low. And I, you know, I, that isn't with our records and I, I don't believe that necessarily has to be so. I think if the record's dull, then people aren't going to listen to it. But if there's a lot in there, they, you know, they have to go and listen to it. Um, and the same with a concert. It, people should be stretched and we should be stretched. And it shouldn't just be like going through the motions. Thank you. 